What's up, fuckers? Yeah, this video is a little late. That's no nobody to blame but me, so it's fine. Uh, it's not alcohol, I promise. Uh, <clears throat> well, I won't lie. When when I made that halftime rant about Blake Baker, I thought things were going to go a different way. I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, I thought, holy, uh, holy crap! Uh, everybody's going to go to that uh, bye week rant that I did and just be like dummy, moron, etc., etc., whatever you wanted to call after that point. Uh, I fully expected that, especially when we were down 10 in the fourth quarter. It's like, oh, crap, here we go, here we go. Trying, trying to clean up the cussing a little bit. Um, but thank God for Derek King. Thank God for him. He's he's the reason we won that game. Uh, don't get me wrong, Harley played well, Pope played well, Wiggins played well. They you know, made their catches, and that's the... Biggest thing we've seen so far, especially Harley really becoming that number one receiver that we're looking for right now. Still got to finish out strong, keep going. Mallory had a good game. But De'Aaron King is the reason we won this game. Bring back an old classic line, point blank period. Um, it's just wow. If, if they, it's, it's, he had a bad game against Clemson. He had a bad game against Pitt. Regina looked better, but it was still something kind of to grow from there. But this game against NC State, he rose to the occasion, became that leader that we needed, and took and just took us that W and got us that W. So, fantastic job, Mr. Uh, Derek King, Mike Harley. Once again, great way to step up. Pope Wiggins, y'all are moving up, so awesome stuff. Uh, Miami did have way too many penalties in this game. That that still something's got to get cleaned up. You you can't do that against good or bad teams because they will make the most of that and. Part of the reason why they were in this game that late, so can't shoot yourselves in the foot and mental errors and all this stuff as we've talked about in live streams here recently. Defensively, I, I'm, I'm sure plenty of people already said this already, but but the, the belief was, you know, it was Manny's play calling in the fourth quarter that really kind of was what we were hoping for. Why does it have to come to that? Why does Manny have to step in and, the fourth quarter and go, you know, Blake, you're fucking up. Let me take over. It shouldn't have to come to that. All we heard when, when Blake was hired is it's going to be a lot of the same defense that Manning was running. Obviously, it's not Ben. Um, I don't know what the issue is. I don't know if it's just he, Baker, just doesn't have faith in any of the linebackers or in the corners because they can't turn their head at all. Uh, that's something Rump's not teaching, but I'm not going to go off on Rump. On um, Rump, sorry. Uh, we've seen this under Baker. There's something there. Whatever it is, whether it gets fixed with Manny doing it or some other way, it is what it is. We'll find out. But uh, we're six and one right now. We're six and one. Uh, as I've said before, if you told majority of the Canes fans back in August we were six and one right now, everybody'd be like, "All right, right where we should be." Nobody, like I said, nobody expected us to win against Clemson. Very few people did. So. We're right where we should be. Offense is doing well. Would have loved to send more from Cam Harris, uh, Knight, and Cheney, but King was kind of that most efficient uh, rusher that we had. That's something that'll change somewhat. So they're going to try, like I said, they're going to try. They they were trying to copy that same Clemson blueprint: stack the box, take away the running game, make King beat you in the air, and it happened. It just so happened we also gave a shit ton of points too. On um, the defense, did at least, but uh. <clears throat> Oh, like I said, I'm pleased. We're moving forward. We got a big game on Saturday. Yeah, Blacksburg, uh, Virginia Tech. It's a game in Blacksburg. They're coming off a loss against Liberty. They're going to play spoiler to try and ruin how as as strong as we can finish the rest of the season. Uh, obviously, Notre Dame beat Clemson last night. I picked Clemson. Uh, our chances of the ACC title game are pretty much zero. Uh, Notre Dame's not going to lose two more games, and Clemson's not going to lose another game. So it's going to be a Notre Dame-Clemson rematch for the ACC title. So it is what it is. The only the thing that Miami can control is finish the rest of the year strong, finish with only one loss, go into the bowl game, help with, let, let all this positive momentum, help with recruiting in this class and next class and next class, and take care, of this, take care of what they can control. That's all they can do right now. So I think we'll be fine. Uh, the Wake Forest game scares me. Just, that's that's an offense that if we play too soft or we just get too aggressive and we fuck up, 
I had to do it at least once. I'm sorry. Um, that's a game that could be a little troubling. Some people worry about Virginia Tech. Some people worry about North Carolina. We'll 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 deal with that at some point. But uh, if there's a game on the schedule left that kind of worries me. It's Wake Forest. But uh, Virginia Tech's gonna be a challenge. Thank God it's not a night game. Thank God that stadium's not gonna be packed because the fans that will be there would be screaming their heads off. So we know that. But uh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I, I thought you know that that the the rant video, the the bi week positive rant I did, it would be like, oh, this 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 idiot. You, what are you buying into now? Blah 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 blah. Whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, plenty of room to get better in every phase. But uh, six and one, six and one. Moving forward, very happy. Uh, we could be a lot worse right now. So. Very thankful for that. But uh, it's hard to believe we've only got four games left in the regular season. When everybody thought, oh, the season's not going to get played, and then this is going to. Those of you who I've talked to, you know I was very positive about this whole thing. And we're four games away, at least on my schedule, to uh, getting the regular season done. So great job, Miami. Had a little problem with COVID, it looks like, but it was bound to happen at some point. But yeah, so uh, I'll see you when I see you. Try to do a live stream sometime this week. So look forward to seeing you if you happen to come out. If you don't, no big deal. But uh, thank you, everybody who watches this channel. Thank you, everybody who has took the time to continue to be on here. Whether you like, dislike, like me, hate me, leave a positive comment, whatever it is. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it, guys. But uh, yeah. That's your log out for now, so I'll see you when you see you. When I see y'all, when I see you, go Canes, and let's beat Virginia Tech. <laughs>